Hello everyone and welcome to this video tutorial of creating a new part within the, an assembly. So I'm at the assembly level here, this is an assembly of an accumulator container. Now to create a new part, I just got to this box here which says new component if the bubble pops up. Uh, well it's new component anyway, uh, I'm just going to call this take two. Okay. Now, uh, in this view here, it's just like when you um, go to place a new part within the assembly. It says, here's my, here's the model, please constrain me. So obviously, just like a normal model, if you don't really care uh, where your um, part sits within its own plane of its um, model, uh, then you can just go ahead and go to default. Um, otherwise, if it's an actual part, which you might want to see the individual model later, you probably want to constrain this correctly. So I'm just going to constrain this like I normally would to uh, um, to the model. So I'm just going to go constrain to the front. Not that to be coincident. I uh, now want to constrain. This face, no, this face uh, to here. And I'm just going to make that 40. Uh, then I want to constrain this face here, and I'm just going to say I want it to be on this plane there. Coincident. Okay, now when it's constrained, uh, to edit it or to uh, sketch or produce something from there, I now go down the model tree, uh, so take two's there, and I just hit this little green button here that says activate. So when I do that, I'm now only looking at um, the one thing which is that part there. So obviously because it doesn't exist yet, you're not really looking at anything. So I'm just going to go ahead and do an extrusion now. I'm going to do it off this face here. Uh, so I'm just going to do a circle, well, not a circle, a rectangle. And done. So I've just got a, a small extru extrusion there, a little box. Uh, and now I'm done with that. So now that you can, as you can see, you can see through other parts when you're in this um, activated view. Now to get back to the main model, I just go up to the top and I activate the accumulator um, assembly there. Now it's um, within the model as it was before. Oh, the other parts are. Um, so the benefits of doing this, um, you can constrain this box or whatever you're modeling to other components in the assembly. And that's really useful. So for instance, I want to change the overall height of this and I want everything to go with it. If I want this box to be a dimension relative to the oversized overall box, I can just reference that top to there and that bottom to there. And if I make this wall higher or taller, then this will go up as well with it. Uh, so it's a really useful, really helpful tool. And it comes really handy when it's something such as like a lid for this. So if I was making a lid for this, I do the same sort of uh, process. Uh, that way the lid always fits over the whole container. And if you make any changes to it, like the container at all, then it goes with it. So you're always gonna have a uh, lid that fits the container, uh, not one that um, is too small if you make it a bit wider or something like that. Anyway, that's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.